Welcome to my channel. Today, let's learn HSK2 Unit 14. 你看过那个电影吗? 你看过那个电影吗? Have you seen that movie? The pictures, number one. The first phrase is 电影院 电影院 Cinema means cinema. So choose D. 等 等 means to wait. Choose A. So number three, 请, 请, sunny, 请, so choose E. And number four, 一百, 一百, that means a hundred, one hundred, so choose I. And next, 打电话, so verb, add object, 打电话, to call. And number six, 玩, 玩, to play. So with er right here. So the answers are um, D, A, E, F, C, B. Okay, text one in the classroom. So A says, 你看过那个电影没有? So this unit will learn that grammar with structural um, particle with school. That means indicates past time, past experience. So in English, have you seen that movie? 你看过那个电影没有? 没有, so ask if or not, uh, interrogative sentence. 没看过, no. 听说很有意思, 听说很有意思. I was told, it's fantastic. So 有意思 means that, interesting, fine. 那我们下个星期一起去看吧. So why not, oh sorry, why don't we see it together next week? 那我们下个星期一起去看吧. So, 下个星期, next week, 下个星期一, so next Monday. But here we need to um, divide from here, from 下个星期 and then stop, 一起 means together. 去看吧, so go to cinema. 可以, 但是我女朋友也想去. So okay, but my girlfriend also wants to go. 但是, conjunction word, but, still, yet. So here the structural particle 过 is very important. We have that uh, past tense, present tense, and future tense, right? So here we learn that past experience, past tense. So a verb followed by the structural particle 过 yearly indicates a past a past experience action so which hasn't lasted to the present so here which hasn't lasted to the present so we'll, uh, we also say that 你去过上海吗? or 你去过北京吗? so that means that you um, have been there before but now uh, you are back so here subject the first example 他们来过我家, 他们来过我家, so that means they have been to my house before. 来过, verb, uh, add 过, past experience, okay, but hasn't lasted to present. So here the negative form, 没有, is added before the verb, 没 or 没有. For example, this sentence, 他们没来过我家 or 他们没有来过我家 Okay, it's not um, difficult, right? So when we ask if or not So have they uh, been to your house before? Yes or no? So we can add 没有 in the end, um, in the end of the sentence, right? And with a question mark 他们来过, sorry, then we change 我家 to 你家, right? Your home. 你家没有, right? So answer yes or no. Okay, text two. 听说你去过中国, 还想去吗? 
It said you have been to China. 还想去吗 ？Do you want to go there again? 我虽然去过好几次 ，so though I have been there, few、uh, several times. 但是，但是 ，so I still want to go for pleasure again. 但是还想 ，still 还想再去玩玩 ，for pleasure again 玩玩。那我们一起去吧。Then let's go together. 那我们一起去吧。And here, 好啊。到那时候，呃，到时候我给你打电话。Great, I will call you then. 到时候，到时候 ，that means um it's time to go there. Then I will call you. 到时候 ，so here conjunction word although though 虽然虽然 ，and they always use 虽然 and then 是 and we use these two phrases together. 次 means time, so while to play to have fun. Complement of frequency 次 so. Uh, sometimes people will ask you that how many times have you been to China, right? So we use this complement of frequency c in Chinese is usually used after the critical verb indicating the number of times that action has taken place, right? So I have been to China for three times. 我去过中国三次。我去过三次中国 ，so both two sentence sentences are OK。我去过三次中国，啊，我去过中国三次。So here the text three。明天天气怎么样？虽然是晴天，但是很冷。But here, right? So how will the weather be tomorrow? 明天天气怎么样 ？It will be fine, but cold. 虽然是晴天，但是很冷。So 晴 adjective sunny, fine, clear. 那你还能去跑步吗？那还能去跑步吗 ？So in that case, it's okay to go jogging. Yes, 可以，但是你自己去吧。但是你自己去吧。我还有很多事情要做。I think so, but I'm afraid you have to go by yourself because I have a lot of work to do. 自己，你自己 yourself. So, but, 但是，还有 I still have 很多事情 a lot of work. Uh, the last text. A says, 你在这个商店买过东西没有 So here, verb at 过 means that past experience, right? Action. And have you ever bought anything in this store? 你在这个商店 So here, place, right? Mention this place. So put in the beginning of the sentence. 没有 interrogative, uh, signal. 买过一次这儿的东西还可以 Yes, once. Things here are pretty good. Not cheap though. 就是不便宜就是不便宜 So not cheap, right? 还可以 Pretty good. 我喜欢这件衣服，但是觉得有点贵。So I like this clothes, but I feel it's a little expensive. 我喜欢这件衣服，但是觉得 feel 有点贵 ，a little bit expensive. 两百块钱还可以，就喜欢就买吧。Two hundred yuan is not that expensive. If you like, just buy it, right? 喜欢就买吧。So that "jiu" means that、um, we learned that give a conclusion, right? If someone wants you to choose something, so fish or cake. So "jiu" 怎么怎么样 ？"jiu" fish, just a fish, right? So this is all for today, and we learned that、uh, very important grammar "guo" structural particle "guo" a past experience, right? So try to remember this one. And last time,、uh, yesterday we learned that "zhe" that means the pri uh continuation, right? Continuation, some actions that continues, right? Continue to now. And this is all for today. See you next time. Bye bye.